Hello and welcome to another video on data analysis expressions. My name is Mitchell Pearson and today we're going to be taking a look at optional parameters. Oftentimes these are kind of hidden parameters. They're a little bit out of sight and even when you see them you realize you don't need them so you don't worry about them, right? But these often hidden and out of sight parameters that are overlooked can be pretty powerful in Power BI specifically in DAX. And so that's what we're going to take a look at in this video today. Now, this is not going to be a deep dive video into every possible optional parameter that exists, uh, but it is going to be just a really quick reference and a high level overview of this is how you can identify when an optional parameter is available. And then here's a couple of examples of how we can use those. So the first one that you see on the screen here highlighted is the calculate expression. And so with the calculate expression uh, or the calculate function, the first parameter is an expression. Now you may or may not know this. A lot of times when we use calculate to evaluate an expression within a modified filter context, we are always using a filter in the second part of that expression. However, that filter uh, parameter is actually optional. And the way that we know that it is optional is because it is surrounded by these square brackets right here. And so those square brackets tell us that that is an optional parameter. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over here and take a look at an existing report and how we can maybe modify this year to date sales using some of those optional parameters that exist. Now in this report, you'll notice the year to date sales does exactly what we would expect it to do. It starts um, at the first date that we had any sales whatsoever and it accumulates all the way until it reaches the very end of that year and then it starts over again because it ends automatically on December 31st. So this is one of the most common expressions that people use inside of DAX and they do it very, very often. Now frequently I will get asked, how can I do a fiscal year to date sales in Power BI? And a lot of times it'll come from people who have been working with DAX for quite some time, but they don't realize there's a very easy way to do this because they don't understand that there's an optional parameter available. Hence the reason for this video today. So let's take a look at that year to date sales measure uh, over here in this report. And what we've done is we've filled out the required parameters here. So total year to date, if I close this up and open it back up, the first, ex the first parameter is our expression. So that's going to be our total sales. And then we pass in the dates parameter and then you'll notice that there are actually two optional parameters inside of the total YTD expression. The first one is a filter and we'll come back to that last. We'll come back to that after we talk about the year end date. The other optional parameter that exists here is the year end date. And so if you just want to quickly return your fiscal year to date sales, what you can do is you can take this expression right here, add a comma, and then I would type in something like 0630 signifying that I want to change the default year end from December 31st to June 30th, right? Super easy, super simple. And when I hit enter, what you'll notice is back in our report view, whoops, close that down. That value continues to accumulate until we get all the way to the end of June and then it starts over again, right? And so we have effectively, through a very simple method here with optional parameters, we have effectively changed the way that this calculation works. And now this is not our year-to-date sales, this is our fiscal year-to-date sales. So that's one quick example. The other thing I wanna show you around optional parameters is that filter that we were talking about just a moment ago. So let's take a quick look at our expression again. And right now we have total year to date, total sales based on the date column, year ending 0630. And what I want to do here is I want to add an additional filter expression. And in fact, when I hit the comma here, you'll notice that there is another optional parameter called filter. And this will actually allow us to calculate our year to date sales within a modified filter context. And so what I want to do is let's modify this to only return the year to date sales for the weekdays, right? We don't, I am a manager over the transactions that occur during the week. I manage the retail store during the week and that's what I wanna see. And so what I can do here is we can add a filter 
that is essentially going to say, look, only return the values in this filter section when the day number of a week, and I'm going to use the in clause, is in, make this a little bit bigger, is in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now keep in mind, if we had a flag on our date column that said is weekday or is weekend or something like that, we could just use that flag and this would be a little bit easier expression here. But what you see down here at the bottom is if you're looking at June, June is showing us that our year to date, which ends on June 30th, is sitting at 7,072,000. When I hit enter, that number is going to become smaller. And now we see that number is representing 5,119,000. It has trained, changed pretty drastically here because we're able to build that filter in. And so the reason that this is so important and so critical to know that those parameters are there, those optional parameters, because if you did not know about that and what it did, and you needed to return your year to date sales for only on the weekdays, you would have had to write this out as a custom expression calculate total sales, filter down the entire date table, where the year equals the year, where the date is less than the maximum date, comma, and then you add an additional filter in there where the day number of week is in this list, right? And so we could do that. We could write this the custom way, but sometimes it's not quite that easy. Sometimes it's even more code that you would have to write. So this right here is optional parameters. There is a lot more you can do with that. If there's something that you very specifically want to see, let me know, send me an email drop a note, send me a message on Twitter, whatever works for you. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative. I hope it, it continues to uh, it, you know, increase your knowledge with DAX. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good time.